hi guys and um, welcome to this video in this video i am going to discuss about the auto discover service that helps system admin or a user to configure the respective account or an email account to their mobile devices as well as different third party apps so if you have auto discover setup for your domain then you do not need to manually input all the configuration parameters into your app or your mobile devices so it is a convenient way to configure your email account into your device or applications uh, i am going i am going to make series of videos regarding different different dns records basically auto discover is related to a DNS record so I am going to create series of videos describing different DNS records their uses and how we can configure them properly so that we can understand why they're important and if they are working or not so okay uh, let me show you something I have an email server clear it my server host name is mail.sampleserver.xyz and i have the ip address of this one so now what i'm going to do is i will let me check if this server or this domain has already an auto discover related dns record or not so i can show you my dns portal here as you can see the sample server xyz it doesn't have any auto discover related service but still i am going to check it from my command line to be more sure dns lookup by the way i am planning to create a separate video on ns lookup it can be a very useful tool during your diagnosis of email related issues especially dns related issues and many young system admins who are new to the industry uh, are often very confused how they can use this tool while they are investigating any dns related issues and what are the relation between these dns records and the name servers i am going to create a separate video explaining all of this so okay for now what i'm going to do is set query srv i am setting a query for srv the query will be auto discover dot underscore tcp dot sample server dot xyz so i'm using my domain and this is the query i am doing so as you can see from the google it couldn't find any auto discover related dns records so now i am going to set a dns record for this auto discovery service and we will verify it from both our ns lookup tool and also we will try to configure our mobile app uh, basically i have an android emulator i will use it to configure the mail app so that we can see whether the auto discover service is working or not so to configure the record my name server i have used the cloudflare name server it is the free one uh, you can definitely check out this one uh, or you can use you can also use this for your personal use and so 
let me add the record i am adding the record the record type is srv the name will be your domain name sample server.xyz now the service is the auto discover or pro discover protocol type is tcp ttl auto i am setting the priority zero weight also zero port number will be 443 and the target will be my server fqdn that is mail.sampleserver.xyz mail.sampleserver.xyz so i can see the summary here auto discover dot underscore tcp dot sample server dot xyz points to mail dot sample server dot xyz and listens on port underscore tcp port 443 for auto discover services okay now i am going to save this one the record is saved always verify all the parameters all the uh, all the informations you have put it in the records because a single dot or a single white space can cause an issue for your dns propagation or a proper dns entry so okay our dns record is properly set now we are going to check whether we can see it or not okay it will need some time let's see it's 414 here so let's see when it is going to when it's going to show us the actual result i'm going to pause this video now as it may take some time I will again resume the video once the record is published so we have to wait a bit i will i will say how many times or how much time it took to propagate the dns up to the google dns to propagate the dns record up to the google dns so okay i'm pausing this video right now So yeah guys uh, I just checked and I noticed that the SRV record that we have included into our DNS panel is available now it took almost 20 minutes to propagate the DNS record up to the Google DNS so if we now query this then you can see we get the output as we expected if i query like this i let me ns look up and then q equals to srv underscore auto this cover dot underscore tcp dot server dot xyz you can see it's also reservable from my local isp dns record so yeah we can see the auto discover related dns record is now published we have the we have the dns record is the server so now we are going to test it whether it works or not apparently i have this email address dextras at the sample server.xyz by the way let me tell you that 
you can use this auto discover for your Carbonio server or your Zimra server or your other servers too. So basically what it will do is it will help you to configure your devices and third party applications without manually inputting all the parameters. So let me open my emulator. There are some apps. Let me open this mail app. This is the default Carbonio mail app. You should definitely check out this Carbonio community edition. It, it is going to be the next big thing in open source email community. So HTTPS. I will write the server address mail dot sample server dot xyz okay uh, okay continue it found the server now I am going to enter my email address that is the extras at the rate sample server dot xyz and then i am setting the password two three four five six by the way do not use this kind of password try to mix your password with random words uppercase letter lowercase, lowercase letter special characters and try to make it at least 10 digit long or 12 digit long so okay if i continue as you can see it logged into the into my email account so that is the beauty of this auto discover record or auto discover service it will help you to configure the configure the email account without any additional hassle so yeah that's how we can uh, configure and verify the auto discover service and i hope you find this video useful for you and see you in the next video and as i mentioned earlier that i will try to create separate videos for all the dns records explaining their uses so take care and see you in the next video thank you so much